I watch women die every day. I watch children bury their moms. So I know what is in front of me and I'm doing everything I can to prevent that. Sarah Amenzo and her family are running out of time. She has stage four cancer, the chemotherapy isn't working, and the doctors say there's nothing more they can do. Left with no options, everybody speaks about cannabis oil. There's a certain stigma, especially um, being a mother, of doing cannabis oil. Um, you know, everyone looks at it like you're getting high, and it's not, it's a medical. It's, it's a natural option that the government's ignoring, and I, I want to live. I have to live. Cannabis has been used as a medicine for centuries. It's legal in half US states. A British drugs company is trialing a new cancer drug and Britain's leading cancer research group is interested. Cannabinoids are certainly very interesting molecules and there's a lot of research, there's hundreds of papers being published looking at their chemical properties against cancer cells. Turning that into effective treatments is a long road and certainly it's not going to be the one cure for cancer because nothing is. This is how you're able to gauge what level of activity is going on in your body. Okay. Stephanie LaRue says she has evidence cannabis has worked, which is backed up by her doctor. The cannabis works. No chemo. I only did cannabis and the tumors are gone and the scans I have is, is evidence and proof of that. Kind of like, what more do you need? A lot more, according to one of the world's leading cancer doctors. Um, this is chemotherapy. So okay. these are natural products, you know. The, drug the man who helped cure Lance Armstrong's cancer needs data and real scientific evidence. Until somebody proves it, whether it be the manufacturers who put together a clinical trial, whether it be doctors who get government funding to do it, or patients who say, here are my records and let's put it in a medical journal and be transparent with what I had, what I was treated with, and what my outcome was, then until that, it's snake oil. Again, I'm not trying to impede progress or say it's bad, but at the same time, I don't want people to get false hope. So what is the evidence? Well, there are hundreds of lab reports that have been published. A study on mice which showed that it worked. A human trial that saw eight out of nine patients respond to treatment, even though they all did die in the time you might expect. Dozens of charities and organizations are starting to think there's something in it. Making the oil is still an underground industry. The cannabis is legal. The flammable solvents he's using aren't. We then pour the liquid into the pan. So this is the finished product? Yeah, this is the finished product. And do you think this is a cure for cancer? In many instances it is and it can be. It depends on the person's particular condition or their state, how advanced the cancer is, but we've seen thousands and thousands of people get better from using this oil. And it's what Sarah Armento is trying is squeeze out a very little amount and then I just I believe it's the best option I've seen it work for others and um, I'm hoping it'll work for me it is her only hope but it is also unproven medicine Alice Delith at BBC News Los Angeles